Okay, so I'm currently lost and um, I am sussing out where I am by using some of this footage. So, oh shit. I've got an interview this week. Um, it's quiet in work, nobody's around. So, um, the interview is on Thursday, it's now Monday. I'm really nervous about it, I really, oh, I want it so badly and it could be the, the beginning of something really big. Um, so I'll, I'm going to film all I can of that process and um, hopefully this, this will be a document of I've just changed my life, you know, and I hope the vlogs are going to help that. Just thinking to myself how amazing it would be if I got this job and I'm made for this job, I should have this job, I'm determined to get this job. And I started thinking, what, what if I don't get the job, you know, that's, I don't want to put that through my mind. But it might make me realise how much I've got and what opportunities I have in my studio. So if I don't get this job, I'm going to really do things. Like this Sims log, me vlogging again, that's me taking action. So this job I'm going to get. It is now the morning of my interview. Um, I'm traveling there, I'm running a bit late again, so um, I'll update you when I get there, hopefully in time. And um, yeah, so I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, so I'm here at um, Portsmouth. Managed to find a parking space. I tried loads and loads of spaces and they couldn't take credit cards and then I found one right next to me. The first one I came across. Uh, anyway, um, I'm here. Um, it's about 22.11, the interview's at 5 past, and I'm extremely nervous, but I just want to get it over and done with now, if that makes sense. I kind of feel like this is it now, this is showtime. Um, so let's hope, you know, we can do this. Here we go. Okay, so it's done. The interview, I think it went really, really well. I'm smiling from it. Um, I made them laugh and smile, and I did as well. Um, I just sold me, really. And I feel really good about it, and it'd be devastating if I don't get it. Because it was a really good interview. It's not very often I say that, but it's, it's all felt so good every sort of step of the way. So I'm hoping, I hope, you know, it's like I don't want to know now. I don't want to know. It's kind of... It's easier not to know. Like I said, as I said previously, it's, just, it's easier for me not to know. So now it's done, I felt good. <sighs> because if, if I've got it, amazing. If I haven't, it's devastating, you know? So that, that, it'll cut deep. But then, you know, fate, fate has a way. We'll see, won't we? Hello. Okay, so I'm in Portsmouth, um, quite a bit of time after the interview. So we're looking at a historic Portsmouth. That is called the Spinnaker, the Spinnaker Tower, and it's, uh, it's a big old tower. That's it, really. Had a bit of um, food, now I'm heading back to my car to go home. And it's pouring with rain now, so I, I'm so glad it didn't rain before my interview. So I'm very, very happy with that. Okay, so I'm currently lost, and um, I am sussing out where I am by using some of this footage. So, oh shit. It was all blurred, and oh, I got a bit lost again, so. 
back to my car. I'm just have a bit of a breather, then I'm gonna go home. As ah, oh, I'm still hyper. I still feel like, yeah, cool. Oh, I don't wanna get that phone call either way. Bye. I'm back home now. Whew, what a relief. I'm so tired. Um, so I'm gonna put the kettle on, have a cup of coffee. I'm just hoping to have some wine. But I think I might refrain and wait until I know either way. But we'll see if I can hold out. Oh, I do feel like I need some sort of drink. Anyway, um, speak to you in a few seconds. Bye. Okay, it is the last week in February. And as you can probably tell, the interview went really bad. Well, so bad that I didn't get the job. Yeah, I'm, I'm angry about not getting the job because I thought it went really well. And I know I said, you know, I could get on with, you know, the Rinky Tink show. And I do feel like, yes, that's gonna happen now. I've just completely deflated. Really, really depressed about it. As much as I, I knew deep down, you know, I, I'd have to have a plan B. And just to continue doing what I'm doing is, is just so demoralizing. So I don't know how I'm gonna move forward. I just need to get my head around the fact that that's the way it is. I have to deal with it. Yeah. It's near the end of February now and I thought I'd sort of have the final words. Like I'm not too disappointed, I've calmed down a bit. Um, it's not all bad, I got the opportunity to go to Portsmouth, have a look around there for a bit. Um, the experience of being interviewed is probably good for me. Um, it has fired me up to do kick ass more. Um, but we'll see, you know. I've said that before, so I need to actually take action and make a difference. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let's look forward to March. Is it March? Yeah, March. Um, I've eaten quite well this month. I'm going to try and eat a bit healthier again. So, I've cut down on the chocolate and the snacking, the bad snacks in between meals. So, next month I'm going to try and look at how I can eat better at lunch times and breakfast and things. I might try fish for breakfast and things. So um, that'll be the next step. Um, I didn't manage to do a video, um, a picture every day, um, but I might even attempt to do a vlog every week for March. So, um, cause I think I've, I've been actively doing stuff. So, um, well, we'll see. Um, anyway, this is to March. Um, thanks for watching and um, stay tuned. Okay, well, I wanted to close the vlog with a thanks for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Thank you. I'm doing too many ums, too many ums, too many ums. No more ums when I talk. Thank you.